about this. Uh, so it's, this is using the Yona, right? The, the dual core. It is. And uh, there's going to be two configurations. Uh, so was it 167 and 183? What, what are the what are the price points? You know, the first one starts at 1999, and I'll, and I'll actually just show you all the specs. That kind of stuff is really cool. I mean, if I'm not going to do it, I would imagine you can choose a release. So, what's that? What's that panel right there? So, here, I'll go to the features. This is actually the 2024. There's a whole bunch of different things, and we'll just sort of start. Um, let me. Uh, we're gonna go to the spec. Where's uh, the? So, new AC power adapter, right? It's magnetic, so when you pull on it straight, it's really pretty solid. So it's not gonna fall out. But when you accidentally bump into the cord, it just comes right out. And it's magnetic, so it goes right back in really easy. Try it. Just pull on it sideways. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So then next to that, it's got two USB 2.0s. Okay. Right. It's got uh, uh, analog and optical out. Uh -huh. And then this is the uh, 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 Express Card 34 slot. So it's a new standard for expansion. Okay. High performance. There's a, a 34 millimeter card that goes in from a bunch of different vendors are working on different products. I mean, what, I mean like what's oh, anything from. Gigabit Ethernet, uh, oh, okay. a smart card reader from Belkin that lets you, you do universal memory from you know SD cards to flash memory, that kind of stuff. So it's not it's not proprietary. It is a, oh, it is totally a standard. standard. Totally established standard. Okay. So some some PC laptops will have that eventually. Absolutely. Too. DVI connector now will drive up to our 30-inch display. Mm -hmm. There's also an adapter so that you can do S video or composite. Right? You'll notice that it doesn't have the S video anymore. Right? It's just one nice clean plug. Gigabit Ethernet, of course. Firewire 400. SuperDrive standard on both. Uh -huh. Got the EyeSight built in now. Right. So if we take a look at something like Photo Booth, you've got that built right in. I decided to get rid of the Firewire 800. Yes. Um, what else? It ships with the complete iLife suite now. Right, so iLifeO6, and just about every application has been updated. If you take a look at iPhoto, the performance is really tremendous. It's about 6,000 pictures here. Also, notice a new feature that has, it's uh, able to tell you the roles as a floating palette. Um, let's pick some of these things just for fun. So if I pick some of these pictures, you know, now you can build a calendar really easily. I wish he wasn't doing this dumb. This is using the same uh, 16 by 1050 by that the, the newest, the previous 15 inch that was just released is using. The same video card? No, the, the display. It's also. So which 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 video card is in here? What's the video? What's the chip? Is the X six hundred or? Sorry, it is the. Oh, X sixteen. So instead of saying this, I'm saying it's a new version, according to K, new version. 
Well, keep in mind, too, that this is a new version of iPhone. Yeah. So, I mean, it's basically a smart card. You can't run it back. Yeah. 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 You want to see some of the other apps? Yeah. I was just wondering, for that iPhoto, when you create a calendar, do you have to buy the calendar or can you print it out? You can print it out. Oh, okay. So if you buy it, what's the advantage? It's just comes... Higher quality printing, it's bound. Okay. Right, spiral bound. So do you actually get like a full size Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. So if you print it out, you got to kind of fit it to whatever your printer right. is. And card stock, you know, for the cards, uh, those kinds of things. So iMovie has some incredible new themes. Um, oh, yeah, some of those look nice. It looks like uh, IDVD combined. Right. But some really neat themes. I mean, they end up looking really cool. But how does this work then? What's this themes do? So the theme is for for a, a segment. Let's say you wanted to have this as the opening segment to your movie. So what you would do is then you would take this theme and you would add uh, clips just as sort of a... I think, right? So what it does is it it adds these as I don't I don't know how to get the movie in there. Let me show you here. At least I think some of it's already been done. But what I want to do is not that. Basically, you drop something in there, right? And right. It just shows up. Oh. So it's sort of like a, a new like chapter this. kind of thing. So it's your stills that you add. Oh, and it, it adds like the effects and stuff. Right, right. But it's video, so you you know that right. continues on in your movie. Yeah, um, it's nice. IDVD. Oh, it renders in the background? Yeah. That's cool. It's been doing that for a while. Okay. Um, IDVD now does widescreen. So again, these types of themes, um, you know, all sorts of. When you burn a widescreen uh, DVD, it's a and you can burn these projects out to a folder and uh, continue work on another machine. You can do a lot of sort of stuff like that. Um, iWeb is the newest application for building web pages. And uh, you can build any number of different kinds of web pages. So video blogs, podcasts. So this, this isn't just for .Mac users. It's for no, you can totally build a, a page or a site and, and write it to a folder. Yeah, right, it'll just dump all the HTML and all the elements into a folder and then you can host it wherever you want it. So, again, you know, I mean, that real straightforward interface. So for the blog, just wondering, can I see what the entries look like? Uh, sure. How do you mean? Like, how would how would someone update the blog? You just change the change what's on the page, or so it, you mean it, like you create you you create this page, right? And then right. you start adding things to it, right? right? Right. And then you want and then you would just publish and publish, and people can subscribe to your blog. Okay. And so as you use this application to add entries to the blog, okay. it's automatic automatically going to be picked up by whatever application they use to subscribe to your so blog. So how do you add a new entry? Example, you know, this is where I honestly uh, don't so know well you enough. On entries probably. Probably. And then, and then maybe just add, add an entry. Okay. And three formats. It formats the type and everything. So it does entries and archives. Okay. Let's see if it reflows. Yeah, I had it more than three, but it was a recall. So I said about 
Yeah, they can only, they're, they're, they can only really do something like that. Yeah, so it shows up as a new entry. Yeah. This is HP, what else? Uh, GarageBand now has uh, a whole podcast studio built in so oh, yeah. you can it's record audio, you know, uh, uh, narration, and it actually sounds pretty good from the built-in mic. It does some filtration. And, uh, oh. When is Xylipo 6 shipping? Oh, it's shipping already today. Today. So this is another application that I do not know how it works. So if we were going to do audio, and we were going to do podcasting, so there's the recorded audio. So GarageBand lets you do And then we were going to add an image. Video. So this really is cool. I guess, yeah, I guess it goes with it. Now we need oh, okay, there, there it is. So when you add audio to your voice and there's you stop, you have natural pauses in your voice, it lowers the audio uh, gain so that it's not overwhelming when it's when you're quiet. Okay. I'd never heard of that before. It's called ducking. ducking I see. <laughs> That's cool. It makes sense. So to create all the chapter tracks, do everything for your podcast. So there's, I mean, there's work What else? Um, is this shipping? I mean, is this... The machine will ship in February. Oh, February. Okay. And the iMacs are available today. We don't know, like, early February, late February. All they said was just February. Let's talk about the uh, how, uh, how's, the, how's the battery life rated? You know, we haven't said yet because these are still prototypes. Okay. So we're getting the final battery, final quality battery and adjusting the software, and then we'll put out the specifications. How long? Is it running, like, cool? You... This one has been sitting here running for three days, and it's a it's a prototype unit, so it's probably not a good you know a good gauge of temperature. You know, yeah, it's 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 warm. I mean, it's warm in here, and it's been running literally solidly for three days. So this is the IR receiving port? Yes. Oh, okay. And if someone would, uh, this thing doesn't attach anywhere, you have to carry it separately, there's, right? Yeah, there's no, like on the iMac, it's magnetic on the side, but there's nothing like that. Oh, okay. So what happens when you have, like, multiple Macs, or, like, you buy the iPod dock? I mean, it's IR, so wouldn't one You assign them. You, oh, you, you can assign them. You can them. totally assign them, because... Yeah. It's only 17 on oh, this particular machine, so it is a pretty good thing. Cool. And you can change the assignment. Now, 